Salam alaikum, Pierce. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Now, someone brought to my attention this interview with Piers Morgan and our brother Andrew Tate. Because you have recently converted to Islam. Correct. So these questions, I think, are pertinent to your conversion. Absolutely. As to what you actually believe as a practicing Muslim now. Now, I want to go ahead and share a few parts from it and give you guys my reaction and comments on it. Uh, yeah, I believe that Islam is beautiful. The interesting thing is that our brother Andrew starts off with giving Piers Morgan the greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. Now, Andrew, good to see you. Assalamu Alaikum, Piers. Good to see you. Assalamu Alaikum, if you guys didn't know and if Piers Morgan didn't know, it's actually the greeting of Jesus. And Piers Morgan, I believe he's Catholic, Christian, so I'm sure that if he ponders over this greeting, he would appreciate it. It's a greeting of all the prophets, and it's a greeting that we greet each other with, which means peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. What, isn't that such a beautiful greeting if you really think about it? Assalamu alaikum, Piers. Now let's get right into this video with our brother Andrew Tate and Piers Morgan pushing him. Piers Morgan is pushing Andrew Tate on this statement that he made back when he was an atheist. Well, here's the what fact. you said. ISIS are the real Muslims because ISIS do exactly what the book says. Kill everyone who's not a Muslim and chop people's heads off and set them on fire and be raging lunatics. But all the other Muslims go, they're not real Muslims because I read the book and ignore those parts. Well, then you're not an effing Muslim because you're ignoring the effing book. That's an interesting, that's an interesting point you've just raised because I am now Islamic. And it's, it's funny because I used to be an atheist. And when you're an atheist, you believe that religion causes more problems than it fixes. Let's start off with that. He talks about he used to be an atheist. And that's when he made that statement. That's just like Sam Harris. Now, can you imagine the kind of statements that Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris and the likes? And the list goes on of how many people who know little to nothing about Islam, who are just repeating what they heard from the last ignoranus, or the hate provocateur, things that are totally the antithesis to Islam, have nothing to do with Islam, but they grab onto this, hold onto this, and they spew it. And this is something that our brother fell into. Obviously, he was atheist. He didn't know about Islam back then. And now he's clarifying this up. This is a very important point. And you realize that religion is actually the cure for most of the problems in the world, and godlessness is the problem in the world. So that is something I will apologize for and admit I was wrong about because I was atheistic. And now as a Muslim, I understand that's absolutely not the case. If that's the particular video you're talking about, then then there's... Well, that's really interesting. So you, you regret saying that? Yeah. Let's get into the second important thing, that after being an atheist, he realized that there has to be a God. Second phase in life, he realizes there has to be a God, an almighty supreme being, an Arabic. We say Allah. This is in Aramaic, the language that Jesus spoke. He would say Allah. So this is the, before the people get freaked out and say, oh, he, what, what are you talking about? Allah, some moon God. No, this is the creator of the heavens and earth that Jesus called upon it just blows my mind how people to this day the majority of people don't have the proper name of god they call upon god by god and say who are you praying to god but the english language at one point did not exist so god in english can mean gods male or female in the english language the term god can be referred to for pagan gods hindu gods for some people refer to jesus as god but when we say allah this is the one truly one when we say pure monotheism the supreme being he doesn't become born he doesn't die he doesn't sleep he doesn't rest he doesn't eat he doesn't get tired he doesn't work and then rest on the seventh day he doesn't become the creation come down to creation to get then get killed by his creation he's the creator we're the creation and he is the one and we say he he's not a male or female but he is one absolutely one pure monotheism got it good and then second phase of his life, Andrew Tate goes from being an atheist and now realizes there has to be a God. Why? Because there's so much evil in the world. If there's so much evil in the world, there has to be a devil. And if there's a devil, then there must be a creator of the heavens and earth. There must be a God, Allah. Now let's get into this next part where now he ended up going from a state of jahiliya. You know, he's in his beginning infancy stages. And he always real, he's already realizing that this is the wrong statement. This group, this Daesh have nothing to do. Those actions have nothing to do with true Islam. So he made that when he was an atheist. He's clearing it up. And now he's going to do the honorable thing. He apologized. And remember, he, he doesn't, Andrew Tate, this is, you know, this is a sign. This is a good sign 
of his sincerity here because look at this many things he doesn't he pushes back he doesn't apologize on statements that he's made in the past but this one he is truly apologizing and inshallah as he grows in islam as he gets the right information the right knowledge and his taqwa increases his god consciousness increases you'll see that inshallah god willing he's going to do more of what the dean tells him to do because he loves god he wants to please god and he's going to obey god inshallah so you you regret saying that yeah because you learn and you grow and you evolve as i said uh, at the time i believed it because i didn't believe in god at the time it was a very long time ago it's actually kind of a testament to you peers you managed to find the oldest possible videos of me that have ever existed now he's muslim he's getting the right information the right knowledge on the issue that piers morgan is pushing him on so when he's asked about it, he apologized he did the honorable thing the sincere thing the right thing and this is what many don't get to see because now he's seen the truth but what's stopping people from seeing the truth is that arrogance that kibber that arrogance that people have and now when they have that arrogance and that pride they don't want to get lo let go of certain statements that made he made that statement a long time ago he's muslim now he's learned now but people how are they gonna learn grow and evolve like he did if they're arrogant and they're holding on to something that is totally not true it's false so they're lying to themselves they're lying to the creator they're lying to god they're lying to people and they're spewing these this nonsense but alhamdulillah it's very nice to see that he apologized for this he made the mistake but obviously because now he's seeing what Islam truly is. And as we know as Muslims, you just opened up the Quran, chapter five, verse 32, killing one innocent being as if you kill the world, saving one innocent being as if you save the world. So, you know, Islam is about preserving life, preserving humanity, not destroying humanity, not wrecking chaos on the earth. Of course, you have a right to defend yourself and your family, but you have no right to go killing innocent men, women, and children and non-combatants, no. The last part I wanna share with you guys is his response to Piers Morgan on how our brother Andrew Tate is proud He's proud to represent his deen, his new way of life. He's proud to be a Muslim. And then he starts giving da'wah. He starts sharing how beautiful Islam is. How it's the last true way of life religion on earth. I was curious because you have recently converted to Islam. Correct. So these questions, I think, are pertinent to your conversion. Absolutely. As to what you actually believe as a practicing Muslim now. Uh, yeah, I believe that Islam is beautiful. I believe it's the last true religion on earth. It's certainly the last respected religion on earth. And I felt differently inside since I've converted. And I think it has the solutions to a lot of the problems we're facing in the world today. And this should encourage other famous Muslims or not so famous Muslims to be proud of their deen, this way of life, and not to be apologetically Muslim. Because as a Muslim, you're upon the truth. You're one who has submitted his or her will to the creator of the heavens and earth. You're on the best way of life. Islam has solutions for all of humanity's problems. You name it, from the family breakdown, racism, adultery, the STD epidemic, debauchery, spiritual emptiness, the void in the heart, the academic of alcoholism, drug abuse, social, economical, Islam solves it all. You name it, Islam solves it. And, and most importantly, has the answer to the billion dollar question. What's the purpose of life? Why am I here? Why have I been created? I mean, you can be somebody out there right now watching this. You're a fan of Andrew Tate. You think this is a very intelligent individual. He did his research. He did his homework. Why don't you look into Islam? And then he also is somebody, he points out this hypocrisy. This is also a very key point. I don't find any form of terrorism satisfying. I don't find Western terrorism satisfying either. I don't think it's satisfying that we managed to find $500,000 per bomb to drop on some farmer who makes $4 a day under the name of freedom. And, well, then we can't, uh, and, and, and we can't seem to pay our nurses enough to do their jobs. I don't find any kind of terrorism. And it's actually very interesting you talk about the world terrorism. Terrorist and freedom fighter, good guy and bad guy, all of this is subjective. There are people who believe that the West are the biggest terrorists on the earth. There are people who believe that America causes more wars than anyone else. Okay, brothers and sisters and humanity at large, you can go ahead and think about, ponder over, you know, what... Andrew Tate is that feeling now that he's getting. And I felt differently inside since I've converted. You know, his intelligence, he is a smart individual. Why would somebody, the most Google man on earth, and why would he put his neck on the line? Why would he even bring more of this negative attention to himself? You know, our people are bashing Islam, or people are lying about Islam. He did his homework on Islam. And he, what does he say? Islam is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I believe that Islam is beautiful. I believe it's the last true religion on earth. The true way of life from the creator to the heavens and the earth. Why don't you look into it? I'm sure if you a Andrew Tate fan, contact us. Let's get your feedback on why you ended up coming to Islam after you ended up 
researching it. And maybe that's what kicked it off for you, Andrew Tate. So if you're somebody who's interested, you want to know why Andrew Tate submitted to the will of the creator of heavens and earth in Islam, to the creator of the heavens and earth, Allah, go ahead and also visit us at thedeanshow.com. We'll get you a free copy of the Quran. This is the last and final revelation sent to mankind. So that's your homework now because that's the crucial question of life. What's the purpose of life? Why are you here? Why have you been created? And in, in Islam, it's not blind faith. You just jump in like all these other man-made religions. Islam is calling you to think, to ponder, and reflect. And when you look at all the evidence that Islam has to offer, then you're just overwhelmed. You're like, wow, this cannot come from a human being. This cannot come from all of humans coming together. This book indeed is from the creator of heavens and earth. And that's why Andrew Tate is a Muslim and he submitted his will to the creator of heavens and earth in Islam, worshiping the creator, not the creation. You could do the same thing, get that peace, satisfaction, that feeling now that he has of the void being filled. And slowly and slowly, you can see, you'll start to give up the alcohol as I heard he already did slowly. Now, since you've become a Muslim, have you stopped drinking alcohol? Yes. I might drink a little bit now and again, I don't, I, but I don't think I, I don't think I'll ever drink again. And start to bring up, get his life will only get better as long as he is stayed focused, asking for guidance each and every day. And inshallah, we'll have him back on the show. Look forward to that. Inshallah, that'll happen very soon. And we'll see you next time. Until then, subscribe it if you haven't already so you can get all of these videos when they come out. Till next time, assalamu alaikum, like when we started. Assalamu alaikum, Pierce. And we'll end with that. Peace be with you.